Good afternoon. We're standing here in Rycroft Meadow in the village of Mannings Heath and I'm about to show you around a rather lovely uh, detached bungalow which has been recently refurbished and extended uh, by the current owner to a very high spec over in that corner. Um, just so you know where we are, Mannings Heath is a lovely village. Uh, we're just south of the county town of Horsham. Uh, Horsham town centre is probably about two and a half to three miles for us here. Um, You've got a railway station there with a rail service to uh, London, uh, London Bridge and Victoria, and all because I think it's got Thames Link services as well. Um, Gatwick isn't that far. Brighton is about uh, 18 miles to our south. And Mannings Heath itself is surrounded by some absolutely glorious countryside. You've got the Mannings Heath Golf Club and Wine Estate down the eastern flank. Um, you've got footpaths galore linking with St Leonard's Forest. Um, you could, I mean, you can go and lose yourself for hours uh, on the countryside around. And uh, the village itself, um, it, unfortunately, like a lot of these little country villages, it doesn't have a local pub. However, the golf course has got a fantastic restaurant bar and uh, wine bar there. Um, You've also got an amazing cricket club, loads of other sports and social groups, and there's a little petrol station around the corner with a shop for your basic daily needs, um, should you need it. So here we are, number 18. Now our client bought this property only two, two and a half years ago. Um, what he's done is he's extended it to the rear, so it's given you an extra big living room. He's reconfigured the interior a little bit, and you'll see in a second, he's done it to a very nice spec. Um, it's got all this front garden, so a nice bit of space. Whether there are any covenants in place or not, I don't know. But there, if it was me, and I'm only looking in from the outside, I may be corrected on this. There is that bit of potential. If it was me, I'd want to build a double garage there. Or if you wanted to, a little bit more parking. But there is a detached single garage alongside here as well with an electric door. So come inside. Schools wise, um, primary schools, your nearest primary school or the catchment area for the village is the village primary school over in Nuthurst. And there are several good secondary schools in Horsham itself and the local area is well served by some fabulous independent schools. So I'm just going to slip my shoes off here in the entrance hall. I won't open these up, but one great big storage cupboard there and an airing cupboard as well. The bathroom. This has all been revamped. We actually sold uh, our client's last property, which was like this. It was done to such a fantastic spec. Um, you've got the black iron mongery on the um, showers and on the tower rails, an aqua laser shower, fully tiled around the shower as well. And then bedrooms wise, you've got three. So originally this was a two bedroom bungalow with a small kitchen. They've extended it, he's, he's extended it to make it a, a really nice uh, three bed with a bigger kitchen living area. That's the smallest of the bedrooms. Next door, you've got the biggest of the bedrooms, which is the front room as well. It's a nice size double bedroom there. Across the hall. Now this is what was once the kitchen. So there's now another nice little bedroom. So a good size third bedroom as well. Most people tend to want it as a home office now. And then for me, before I, I'm gonna just grab my shoes. I'm gonna grab my shoes, bring you into this living area. So again, the original house, it was just a lounge. And you have got a working fireplace in here as well. Again, he's opened this up and extended it throughout. And what is really lovely is you've got a vaulted ceiling. This is directly south facing. It's a shame we're on a rotten day, but this is rather lovely. But look, you've got these long radiators, the bi full width bifolding doors. I'm just gonna put my shoes down and then show you a bit more. One thing I should have mentioned actually, throughout you've got this lovely flooring. I don't know if it's Candine or Antico, but all been done really nicely. And then a fully loaded kitchen. All the usual appliances are in here. There's actually a little wine chiller there. There's a washer dryer, slimline dishwasher, of course, the oven and a fridge freezer. And again, all with this lovely vaulted ceiling. So that's the inside. Let me just quickly recap through there. We'll have a nose and then we'll go out in the garden. So great big open plan kitchen living area. If you don't like open plan, you could easily put a wall in, not a problem. So either little bedroom or study that side, another bedroom or study these days. I mean, a lot of people who are asking us now, they don't want three bedrooms. They want one bedroom, but they want two offices. So we're all using these houses a lot more flexibly than we would. Again, nice outlook. It's great, you've got a hedge line down this side. The way the position of this, this bungalow is, it's got to be one of the nicest positions in the cul-de-sac. So Rycroft Meadow is a cul-de-sac and we're within a little sort of offshoot cul-de-sac of it. And another quick glimpse of that bathroom. And then come outside. I mentioned the countryside and the, the golf course nearby. Um, there are also lots of fishing lakes. There are bridleways and footpaths galore 
Um, and if you've got to get anywhere, Gatwick's not too far from where we are. And you've got the motorway out of the A23, out to our west, and the A281 road runs literally down the uh, western flank of the village. So outside, great big bit of space down the back here. So you've got a side gate there as well. The back garden is south facing. We've, made, we've measured it as a maximum because it is L-shaped. You'll see we've got another seating area here with a raised terrace. I think it's about 46 foot by 44 feet or something like that. But this main face, this, this elevation here is south facing whenever we see the sunshine. And then a useful bit of space on this side with a garage, like every garage we see. We we'll dream of putting a car in it. But a handy bit of space. And the boiler is out here. In, in Manning Seas, we're all on uh, oil. And what people tend to do with oil is they shop around. So there's a local syndicate where everyone says, right, we're all ordering oil. They negotiate a deal with the oil provider um, and you know, everyone gets the delivery on the same day. So it's a great setup. I'm on oil myself. And um, finally, I'll just leave it with you. There is that bit of potential to extend it further. So the owner has added this sort of back third to the property just to make that kitchen living area bigger. But I can't see any reason why you couldn't extend it to the side again if you wanted to. So there you go. That is number 18 Rycroft Meadow in the village of Mannings Heath. It's for sale through Mansell McTaggart in Horsham. Um, if it's something you like, come and have a look at it. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you do think this video is helpful and you've got any feedback, please inform the team in the office in the Carfax. Thanks for watching.